Hey folks, so I've been working on this rich text Laravel package. It's not released yet, it's in closed beta for myself only. But I wanted to show what the package currently does and yeah, gather some feedback maybe. So the package provides a seamless way to integrate tr the tricks editor with Laravel in, in a similar way to what action text does for Rails. Um, so what does that mean, right? So in tricks, we have attachments and these attachments, well, we have control over how these attachments look inside the rich text field, basically. And what the package allows us to do is it allows us to attach any model in our application as a rich content inside this rich text field. To demo that, I've implemented a mentions feature that I saw from a Rails Conf 2020 talk by Chris Oliver. Um, he shows how to do advanced stuff with tricks and yeah, one of these advanced stuff is mentions. So I've implemented that here and I wanted to show that to you. So if I edit this post and I use the add symbol, I'm gonna list all users in this application and I can um, look them up by name and if I choose one I get the username and the image displayed over here inside tricks. This comes from a blade template basically. I'm gonna show what that looks like in code but yeah you got the idea. So I cannot touch anything into tricks and this gets stored as a reference to that model. So that's an important piece for instance, if I save this over here and I look that up in the database under posts where ID equals 18 um, first. So this is what is stored in the database. So instead of the content that we are seeing here, what gets stored is a rich text attachable tag, which has no meaning for the browser, but it's just a way for us to you know, mark this content as something else so so we can look for that and render it properly. Um, it also has assigned global ID. This is a way to reference this resource that we are referencing uniquely throughout our application. So this can be anything. This can be, a, for instance, a remote image. If you're uploading images, we don't store the markup for the images. We store a reference like the URL, the content type and stuff like that. Um, but you can also reference anything. So in this case, I'm referencing a user model. If I get the post over here, I think you can have a better idea of what I'm talking about. So as you can see, the tag has nothing inside of it, um, but we see it over here. What happens is that if you try to fetch, if you try to access that attribute, the content attribute in the post model, you get an instance of a content class. Um, if you cast that instance to a string, that will get converted to HTML and inside the rich text attachable, it will render the partial or the template that you want it to render basically. This means that we are not actually storing the contents of this field. And that's important because for instance, if the model changes, let's say, and if I go back to that user and I change the username to instead of John, I call Jane. Um, any reference to that user will be always up to date because we're not storing the HTML that was in the rich text field at the time of writing. We are storing a reference to an existing entity in our application. That entity can change, so we are always re rendering that. It, you could catch this HTML and only render once the timestamps in the post change or something, it's up to you, but you know, by default, it will always re-render. Okay, so one more thing. The content field, um, I showed that it's actually an instance of the content object. And this is pretty cool because then we can get all the attachables on this field and we get a list of all the models that are referenced inside this content. So in this case, we only have Jane Doe um, so I could add myself over here, for instance, 
and if I refresh the post object because the content changed and I try to get all the attachables I'll get all users that are referenced but not just that um, anything that is an attachable will be listed here and if you have duplicates for instance um, I have two Jane Doe's, two reference to Jane Doe and if I refresh the model and get the attachables I'll get two Jane Doe's but that's by design if I wanted a unique version I can just you know call the unique tag and yeah Laravel, the Laravel collection will do the work for me so this is not actually getting only users you're basically getting anything that is attached to this rich content field which can be images users whatever you you attaching to that so yeah i want to show how you can use that how you can use the package if i go to vs code and i look for the post model all i have to do is apply this custom cast to the field that is actually a rich text field and that will do everything for me so when i set this attribute it will convert the attachments to rich text attachables give it a sign and global id and all that it will do everything and then you know for convert that to storage and when i get this attribute from this model it will parse that from storage into a, in, an instance of a content class which you know then you can render by convert, casting that to a string or whatever so this is all we have to do in the model that has a rich text field um, in the other model that you want to attach to a rich text field you have to implement the attachable contract which gives you some methods that you have to implement um, and you can use the attachable trait which comes with the package and yeah that will implement pretty much everything except for one method so you have to implement this one yourself um, which is rich tax render which is yeah so basically you are going to tell the package how to render this model inside tricks and this is using the users underscore mention partial and yeah that shows the picture and the username wrapped in an anchor tag and yeah it is basically what this looks like so since this is actually an attachment in tricks it works as its own block so you, you can type between the names over here or anything like this is its own thing so you can remove it as a block um, you can undo the removal as a block since it, this is text you can even you know make it italic make it bold whatever like you this is text so you're gonna control how it looks like also the hitting backspace and remove it like it just removes the thing so yeah this is the package it's not released yet i'm gonna make it public soon so yeah let me know what you think is this useful do you like it you don't like it that's it